This little tutorial is to walk you through the process of adding your add-ons and files <coughs> and settings for World of Warcraft into Git. It's a simple backup solution. It's a little more advanced than what you would get normally with a copy and paste of, of folders and directories. This will back up both your add-ons as well as your settings so you can get up and running instantly on either a new computer or a different machine or restore if somehow you screw up your, your UI in some major fashion. It takes really no time at all to set up. Really, really pretty simple. So I got steps here on the left you can follow along or move ahead if you're a little faster than I am. So first thing you need to do is go create a GitHub account. Uh, I already have one, so um, uh, I'm not really going to walk through that process, but um, really simple. Just remember your username and password. It's a free service. Once you go ahead and log in, you want to go to repositories, and we're going to create a new repository here. And we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call mine WoW UI Demo and leave it as public. It's fine by me. And create repository. So you notice that it's going to have this unique link here, GitHub. And my username is followed by the repo name. So I'm going to want this later, so I'm going to leave this here. This is basically to, is the address for my for my repository. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and download the client. So I believe I've already done that here. So I'm just going to walk through. This is the Windows setup of the client. I uncheck everything just so I don't have to deal with a bunch of stuff in my UI. The only thing I leave is these associations at the bottom. You don't really need these other tools. The main thing here is make sure that you run git from Windows Command Prompt. Um, uh, a lot of people use this method. I really don't like it. It just makes this a lot easier. It won't work in this tutorial if you uh, don't select run git from Windows Command Prompt. Check out as is, commit as is. Next. And then we just go ahead and wait for it to install. So the next thing you're going to want to do is find out where your WoW folder folder is. Um, uh, a lot of people are at C um, uh, program files 86. Close this now. The git is done. Finish. But not everybody is there. So um, uh, you usually find it in here. World of Warcraft will usually be in this base folder. C program files. Mine happens to be on the F drive, World of Warcraft. So um, what we want to do is create a git ignore file. Basically, is saying, hey, don't uh, track changes in all the large files, the executables. Don't track changes in the DLLs. Don't track changes in the MPQ data folders. We don't want to upload all those up. We just want to upload the uh, things that we really care about. So what we're going to do is come over to this handy dandy link I'll post up that has all the proper ignores and we're going to start up notepad and copy and paste this all in there so it's really important that whenever I save this file that I save it in the right place so I'm going to save it in my wow folder so where am I at here I want to go to my computer and mine is on the F drive and then World of Warcraft and then instead of a text save as text document I want to make sure I select all files this is really important so that saves correctly and I'm gonna say dot git ignore just like that no prefix on the beginning of that just straight up dot git ignore save that I had to overwrite a file that already was already there Okay, so next thing is to start command prompt. The easiest thing to do is when is to uh, use the Windows Explorer to get to your base folder, and in this in this little address bar right here, just double just click so it highlights everything. You can delete it and then type cmd, and then hit enter, and that'll launch the command prompt, put you right in that folder, which is right where we need to be. So now, me. I think it's a little smaller here. I got a command prompt window. And let's make sure our git install worked first. 
So we just type in git, and I should see a bunch of stuff about git. It should give me some helpful commands. It should look just like this. So I, first thing we need to do is make a repository. So we're going to run git init. Okay, and it should say initialize repository. And we're going to git status. First time, it'll take a little while. Okay, we have all these files. So git add dash all. And what we're doing is we're saying, okay, here's the untracked files. We say we want to start tracking those files. So git add all. And this adds them to be uh, committed. This will take a little bit of time. This adds it to the index, basically staging for commit. So I have a ton of add-ons, so this takes a long time, and I'm kind of doing this demo from scratch. So you should this should be what it's like for you, if you have a lot of add-ons. The initial load, it takes a little longer, but um, after this, it's just small changes that don't take long at all. And uh, all these links over here kind of coincide with these steps. I'll post all of these up with uh, the video at the end here so you can just click on them to go wherever okay there we go so now we should when we get status you should see it this get get status is like basically showing the status of your uh, folder and any changes that are made that need to be committed so get status, you should see a ton of stuff scroll by. Okay. So what I want to do now is git add. Uh, no, these are all added, ready to go. So I can now commit these changes. So git commit. And I'm going to type a message, which is required for all commits. So I'm going to call it initial commit. That also might take a little bit of time, just because there's so many new things. Do, do, do. Okay, cool. Now when I say get status, it should say no changes. You're on the branch master, nothing to commit working directory clean. So this is great. So my local repo is now tracking changes, ready to go. So what I'd like to do now is this is all local and kind of versioned. I want to take it to the remote host. I want to send it to GitHub. So I'm going to go back to my repo that I created. And I'm going to copy this link here. Make sure this is HTTPS GitHub slash your username slash your repo name dot git. So I'm going to git remote add origin. And then to paste in here, if you haven't pasted in command prompt, you actually have to right click and click paste. It's kind of lame, but that's how it works. Okay, so now I should be able to test my remotes by saying git remote-v. And it says here, this is origin for in for my with my address for fetch and pull. Awesome. So the next thing that's left is only for me to push. So git push origin master. So I called it origin, that's the name of it. And master is the branch, the default branch. Don't really have to worry about this stuff too much. It's going to ask you for your username. I enter my username, and it's going to prompt you for your password. So I'm going to enter my password. And the first time will take a little bit. It's going to compress and then upload. So the first upload takes a little bit of time, especially depending on your upload speed. But um, uh, after this, very small changes. So while that's uploading, I'm going to go ahead and start World of Warcraft and show you some changes. Oops, that's the wrong file. That's what I want here. So this would be a common thing that you would do. While getting started and changing your UI. Let's see if we're still uploading here. So I've uploaded about 30 megabytes, something like that. That's what it is. 30, 40 megabytes. I have a lot of, a lot, a lot of add-ons. Okay, again, inner world real quick. And so this will probably be changing some of my configuration files as we speak. Every time you touch World of Warcraft, it changes some of these files. OK, 
Okay. So get status. So you can see I've already changed my config WTF. And you can see that it changed some minor settings in there. I don't know why, why it's got to touch this file. Okay, so let's say I go ahead and screw around my UI a little bit here. And um, uh, this is what my UI normally looks like, all custom and everything. Um, uh, let's say that I go ahead and going to go ahead and camp. And let's say something happens and my folder gets deleted entirely. So I'm going to come in here real quick to my, this is my WoW folder, WTF, and let's just go ahead and delete my WTF folder. And let's go ahead and go to my interface add-ons folder. And let's say a ton of my add-ons get deleted. Here. Might be having issues with permissions on accessing that. Okay, so let's try to launch WoW again and see what it does. I deleted too many files and got myself in a screwed up state. Alright, let's play. Okay, so it is bringing me back to like full screen beginning. That's why it's not showing up on the screen here. Let me go ahead and switch to uh, system and we'll set it to Load full screen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this real quick. This is the same account as playing on before. So this is the all important restore process, which is something that we all need to be able to know how to do. So I'm in the United States, just a realm. And back, where's my realm? Change realm. Shogal, here we are. That's me, Shogal, and Git. All right, so we're gonna load this up. Got the music and the sound effects playing because I deleted all my files. So we should see a very stock UI, and there's all these add-ons that are not configured that are still there. That I didn't because I only deleted some of them. Very stock UI. Turn off the sound. Okay, so everything is pretty much screwed. Like, damn, I can't raid. I just missed my raid because of all this. I can't do my DPS. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and quit out of this and show you how to restore. So you may not have a... Um, uh, so we see git status. You see it deleted a bunch of files. Right. So if I'm still connected via a um, uh, repo, let's just say all my files got screwed up, I could just do git checkout period. And what that's going to do is revert all my files that have changed and take me to the previous state. Okay. So let's see here. Took me back to right where I was. So let's see what happens with all my add-ons. Click play again.
takes a lot of faith to uh, in the system to delete all your add-ons and settings 15 minutes before raid. But I have that much faith that Git will work. Alright, click on my add-ons list. I should see only the ones that I care about selected. Click enter. And let's see where we're at. Do to do. Definitely has got the add ons on. It takes a lot longer to load in game, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. And my, uh, my, uh, everything is configured the way that I hoped it would be. All my frames are working out nicely. These are all my raid frames the way I expect them to be. DPS meters in the right place. Everything is very nice for me. Just the way I wanted it. So that's all there is to it. Just some simple commands and um, uh, you can back up any system and have it ready to go at any point in time. Just follow those steps that I gave you. Um, all, like I said, all the links will be in the comments where you, um, uh, so you can click on, click on them directly instead of entering them.